Hello, everybody. I hope you're all super safe and um, feeling well in this pandemic that we're in. I apologize for a couple of missed videos. I indeed was battling the one, the only coronavirus. It was fun. Not really was terrible, but here I am. I have my voice back and I am on the other side. Is anyone else's bangs entirely too long because of this quarantine? <laughs> Need to get them cut. But that is neither here nor there. Today, I'm extraordinarily excited to announce that our very own student ambassador at Back to Space, Christopher Franklin, had an opportunity to interview Ryan Bocook at Boom Supersonic. Take it away, Chris. Hi, Ryan. Can you uh, tell us who you are and what you do with Boom Supersonic? Yeah, my name is Ryan Bocook. I'm the manufacturing engineer and manager at Boom. Uh, my goal and my primary text is to get our team uh, to build this aircraft here, XB-1. This is our supersonic demonstrator. Can you tell us a little bit about like the purpose of the airplane, the concept, and uh, what it's going to be used for in the future? Yeah, so the purpose of this airplane is ultimately a scrimmage for our airliner, which is Overture. Overture is a 50 to 70 seater uh, airliner that the general public will fly on. Um, supersonic airliner uh, gets you from uh, New York to London much faster than you get there today. Uh, this aircraft is kind of the scrimmage to get us there to build an airplane that um, demonstrates that we can build a civilian aircraft that goes uh, supersonic. Awesome. So what, what similarities and differences are there compared to the Concorde back in the day? Um, differences. So this is a composite aircraft, uh, okay. carbon fiber composites. The intent is for it to be higher performing, so we get to take advantage of all the technologies that are available to us today um, okay. that weren't available back in the 60s, 50s, when uh, the Concorde was being designed. Um, so for instance, um, we have uh, CAD. We can design the airplane. It's a little bit helpful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we can design the airplane um, and iterate much faster um, in CAD. Um, we can do more aerodynamic modeling in, in the computer. Um, we have 3D printers um, that we can 3D print all kinds of parts and tools and things that make, make building this aircraft much faster and iterating on designs much faster. It's awesome. Um, so what, what is the final product gonna look like with Overture? Like, uh, what does the airplane look like? What's kind of the setup? Um, that's a good question. So Overture, again, is a passenger airliner. So think something that you would fly out of um, you know, out of any airport that you and I can buy tickets for. Mm -hmm. um, the intent is this is not for um, the super wealthy. This is, you know, me being able to afford a, a ticket um, to fly to London um, and essentially buy time back for myself. I'm going to get there much faster. I could take a day trip okay. to, to Japan. Awesome. As far as the like the design of the airplane and the materials, like you said, it's composite. Mm -hmm. um, what sort of like challenges are there, like engineering wise and manufacturing wise, in order to make that actually come to life in the airplane? That's a good question. So um, the advantages of composites, uh, we can do things that the Concorde couldn't do. So the Concorde was mostly aluminum. Um, it reduces weight a lot using. Composites are lighter weight. We can also do area ruled or more complex geometry, um, aero geometry okay. that uh, maybe the Concorde didn't have the advantage of. Okay. Um, so we're able to do more complex shapes um, with composite molds. Okay. Um, I think the challenge is uh, developing the processes to get there from a manufacturing perspective and be able to uh, make many of the same parts over and over. Um, okay. So it's more process development which is one of the reasons we're building XV1 is to develop our processes and techniques okay. uh, for our manufacturing. So probably the question everyone's wondering is uh, as far as like the sonic boom goes and how like how is that gonna work operationally? Like, are you just gonna be able to break the sound barrier over the ocean currently? Or are you guys working on like anything to be able to do it over land? Uh, what's that looking like for you guys? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I think ultimately the answer in our business plan is all most of the the flights that we're currently planning in our business models over ocean okay. uh, where where the sonic boom is essentially over a desert there's not people there to hear the boom right. um so i think from that perspective uh you know the original or the the first flights of overture will be uh, over the ocean okay um 
Interesting. So, um, where are you guys at right now? Like, do you have an airplane built? Uh, where are you going to be flying it? Where are you based? Those sorts of things. Yep. So we're based right here in uh, Centennial, Colorado, just outside of Denver. Um, we have much of the aero structure um, currently in fabrication um, and it's being assembled right now, okay. right across from uh, the runway where we're at right now. And that's for this airplane? That is for XB1. Correct. Okay. Yep. Awesome. So is it going to be flown here in Denver or somewhere else in the U.S.? Um, undecided at this point. Okay. Uh, we will certainly be doing lots of ground testing here and we'll figure out our plans from there. Uh, looking at supersonic flight, you know, with the Concorde and everything, like the biggest problem was like it being so noisy yep. and then like the maintenance problems and, and stuff like that, that it just made it like not economical, right? Yep. And I mean, we've been waiting for how many years, like decades for... Yep supersonic flight to come back and you guys are finally doing that yep. that's that's it's so yeah. awesome it's exciting and i think i think with the technology that we have available today we'll be able to uh take advantage of that and overcome some of those challenges that the concord had economically environmentally uh, and and hopefully get us all uh traveling and and getting some of our life back and and really improving uh the way that we live day to day that's awesome. So uh, where can people go for information on Boom Supersonic and see what you guys are doing? Yeah, boomsupersonic.com is a good place. Um, okay. Lots of social media, uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram, all, I don't know what they all are, but social media. Social media, <laughs> excellent answer. Um, awesome, well, Ryan, thank Thanks. you very much. Appreciate, Appreciate your time. It. Yeah, you too. Thanks everyone so much for watching. Again, let's give a hand to Chris Franklin. I actually just got my voice back, so I didn't even have time to make a video, and Chris had it for me. What a team player. Way to go, Chris. You're amazing. Everyone, um, I'm gonna be back. We're gonna be posting videos all the time. By all the time, I mean once a week. So make sure you like and subscribe. Miss you guys. Glad I'm alive.